58 degrees out there. Hello, 58 degrees out there, going to be an absolutely beautiful day. I think I'm taking the day off after our meeting today, JC. You take the day, you're married to me, you take every day off. Good morning, uh -huh. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on a great looking Wednesday morning here at Athens, Alabama. Join us today as always on a Wednesday. Somebody from Urban some more today at Seth. He's back from vacation. And Daryl, our golf pro here on ZTV. We got plenty of stuff to talk about today. Did you go by Papa Rocco's in the Gulf Shores last week? Yes, sir. Yeah, did you tell him how good I'm promoting his business? Oh, yeah. Went by there and said hi to everybody. Well, good. Yeah. He's one of the sponsors coming up of the uh, 30th Annual Limestone County Rodeo, too. Frank said they had a big night last night downtown. We'll talk to Frank in just a little bit about it. I can't get there. It's too late for me. Starting at 6. I have to have my downtime. Uh, Johnny Lee Dean's <laughs> our pastor over Cross Point George. will be joining us later on this morning, too. Frank, how did it go last night? You said they had a good crowd. Had a big crowd downtown for the street dance. Sure did. Yeah, so did you get out and... Uh, Boogie? I boogie a little bit. Uh, who'd you dance with you? I danced with the sheriff's wife, my daughter, and the queen. She'd leave her belt on? Yeah, she wanted to take it off for me, but I don't know. Frank. Uh, we'll have some more video. I shot a lot of video of the rodeo parade when it came through downtown Saturday afternoon about 2.30, 3 o'clock. So we'll try to remain, uh, get the remainder of that coming up in just a little bit. Gloria's going to have the weather for you. got lots of things to talk about this morning. You can text Gloria 603-4840. I'm going to go have my phone with me. Here's my private number, 230-1123. Only a few people in the world have that now. I've given it to the multitudes out there. That's what's going on on a Wednesday morning edition of Cooper & Company Live. So thank you all for getting up with us. Let's get it cranking. As Gloria said, it's going to be about 90 for the weekend. No chance of rain. I know for Friday night when Brad shoots the uh, rodeo, we'll all be down there along with your, your mom and daddy and kids. Seth, we'll all be up in our skybox down at the rodeo right. arena. Lots of stuff happening. Let's get it cranking right now. Here's Gloria with the weather. All right. You know what? It is going to be an absolutely great day. So let's get out there and enjoy Zorro. Don't be a pest already. Uh, it's 58 degrees out there is what Frank just told me this morning. But high temperatures around 84 today and full sunshine should be a great day to be by the pool this afternoon. High temperatures tomorrow around 84 with your low of 59. And it does say those partly cloudy skies. But look at the rest of the forecast. Not bad at all. Hey. No rain to worry about. It's going to be very nice. And of course, rain will return later toward the end, well, Tuesday of next week, but that's too soon to say. 230-498 gets, to, gets Frank brat. this morning. Wow. He's a brat. You I love them playing with a dog. Huh? You make them bark. Oh, so far I have no messages. No one wants to call you. You never return a text. <laughs> all right, that's all right. How are you, Daryl? <laughs> I'm wonderful. How about you? Missed you last week. You said you had a poison oak. Poison oak uh, I'm covered up with it. Not anymore, but I'm not. You got was. anything for that, Seth? <laughs> you got anything for that? No, you Probably. better get some steroids for that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, antibiotics and <laughs> Benadryl and everything else. I've been sleeping for about a week. Actually, that MSM lotion will help to take the itch away, but if you really want to get rid of it, they, uh, remember, doctors can kill anything. They kill people. All the time. <laughs> a little Roy up here. Don't forget every Wednesday right down the road at Herbs and More right there next to Champion Chevrolet. Give a shout out to my old buddy Donnie Marlowe. I'm going to make him be in the, the rodeo coming up, so I'll call him today. Herbs and More, 10% off <laughs> each and every Wednesday. Go down by the business, still good? Uh, wonderful. Your dog's vicious. Hey, well, by the way, just I had the papers for morning. Go by the Toro Day. If you're looking for a lawnmower, your grass is growing, go by some of my buddies at Dixie Auto Sales mm. right down the road there. Right across the road, my old buddy Charles Butler. Y'all tell him I said hello. Go by and see Bill, Richard, Peggy, the whole bunch over there. Toro Day, they got a, they're fantastic people to do business with and just doggone good folks all around. You know, a second ago, you ever seen that show Swamp People? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that show evidently too. that is bigger than I know because in the Decatur Day, it says you can meet Bruce and Tyler from Swamp People. One of those well. being a friggin' dog. Uh, <laughs> this Saturday from May 19th, 10 to 2. Have they gotten that big? Why can't we come? I could put Tony Grigsby up there like that. It could be Tony Grigsby and his big catfish. Or, uh, you know, Frank, maybe we come up with something you could do. He makes crackers. You know, I really can't tell you why I like that show, but I continuously watch it. <laughs> I mean, uh, I didn't realize they were that big. They're pretty big. So that means I need to start coming up with my own program here to uh, go out and start meeting and greeting people. The only time I do that is at Walmart. No. It seems to be my place that's to go. That's about true. Is that the one where they get the gators? Or yeah. Is that, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. what I was Darryl saying. Said one, you said one of them died. One of them just died recently. The, <laughs> the I think the twin brothers live out in the swamp. They actually live on a petition in the swamp. 
And he just, wow. yeah. I don't know what, I oh, never okay. saw the story. Oh. Layla did text me this morning. Let me hey, thank Layla. you there. Give me that shout out this morning. Yeah. My number, 230-1123. One of the, yesterday, Gloria, oh, that's, let me. Oh, you're oh. going to go there? <laughs> yesterday, I stayed home. We know Abby just had her baby. Uh, mm -hmm. Gloria was one of the first ones to hold it. Says it's a beautiful kid. She is. She's really oh. cute. So Gloria takes the, there it is right there. Well, that's not it. Uh, it's not an it. There she is. And that's not the best picture. <laughs> Gloria says, I'm going to go to the hospital. I need, We had some work going on at the house, and I needed to be working on the rodeo pray stuff. So for one of the few times, I stay home in Athens, men's oro. How'd that go? Gloria takes the car. First, we can't remember the last time she was gone from me, separated five hours. You poor all. thing. Main thing Why is, is can't, the car hasn't run to Florence and back and probably been driven that much probably in five or six years. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to have a new battery and four new tires to have a clean tire <laughs> that because we never used it. So Gloria's gone. And she's, uh, when is the last time you really drove that far? It's, first of all, it's scary if I'm driving anyway, but I, I can't remember. You can't remember. Mm -mm. She's That's going sad. down the road, almost gets a ticket. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I saw yellow light. I thought, hmm, I can make this. So I do. All of a sudden, the officer does a little U-turn, gets behind me with the lights on. I'm like, oh, you know where your heart sinks down to your ankles? Oh, I'm going to get a ticket. But, but he pulled the guy over behind me because he ran it. I didn't. <laughs> So, I, I mean, I know that's it. unusual. <laughs> that's unusual, but we are never separated. You know, I mean, you know how the rodeo queen. Wow, all that freedom I, I mean, had. You can't let me loose, Frank. Hey, what, what, what are you doing Sunday? You, you can't let me loose. <laughs> so anyway, that, that leads me to this in, in the paper this morning. And this is, I'll make this a dear Abby. Should you confess to kissing your ex? <laughs> Idiot. Deny, deny, deny. Oh, this is my husband. I've been married for eight years. Two beautiful children. Recent ex boyfriend called me. Let me know that his father died. I hadn't heard from him in 12 years. Matt and I began speaking regularly. Even spent some time together. One night, however, things went a little further. Ooh. We kissed several times. I don't know whether I should confess to my husband or not. No, idiot. Hey, I saw your ex two days in a row. I don't want to know if you kiss her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> If I kiss one of my ex-wives, it's going to be the kiss of death. For you or them? If I would kiss one of my ex-wives, don't tell first me. First of all, I ain't telling nobody because don't nobody need to know. I need to be shot. <laughs> I mean, come on. Am I going to tell you? Yeah, I'm crazy. No, deny, deny, deny. Don't tell Who me. Who on earth would want to go kiss an ex? Well, there's a reason they're, they're an next. ex, right? <laughs> Why do you want to go back through that? Said my husband would no longer trust me. Honesty is always the best policy. What deny, you don't deny, know, or you can say, <laughs> Seth, what you don't know can't hurt you. Can't hurt you. But when they find out what you know and they don't know, that's when it'll hurt you. <laughs> you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, come on. <laughs> Never go there. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to just keep your mouth shut. I mean, the kissing aspect, just don't do that. Idiot. <laughs> hey, speaking of don't idiots, this is, in the, this is in USA Today this morning, in case you folks haven't got up and listened to watch this yet. Daryl Keaton of Jefferson County, Alabama, near Birmingham, facing a felony charge for allegedly giving a 20-year-old umpire a bloody nose after his granddaughter's softball game. How's it going to go, Frank? Mm. I do good. There's a law on the books that if you assault an official, it's a Class C felony, serious crime. You could get, he's 55 years old, he's free on bond, could get 10 years in prison. Oh, wow. The umpire is recovering. Okay. That's like you going to a ball game, David's playing a ball game, you get mad at the kid refereeing, and you hit him. No, it looks like Roy hits him. <laughs> <laughs> well... I was talking to a lady not too long ago that um, she's over all this stuff, and they get in fights all the time. I don't quite understand this. Um, adults should not act this way. The kids, I understand fighting, but grown people fighting over a kid's softball game is just ignorance to a whole different level that I don't well, quite Well, you know, get. it's just like what happened a couple years ago with Judge Bob Baker. He mm -hmm. was at a ball game over in Brewer. Softball game, I think, or baseball game, whatever. Some obnoxious baseball fan game. there is cussing. I mean, using the F word, GD, all this stuff. He doesn't know Bob Baker, great guy, is a judge. <laughs> well, Bob tells him to sit down. 
The guy gets mad, he hits Bob. How'd that go, Frank? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Bob Baker's a judge. Yeah. And a good, Very good one. Hit him. I think the guy got, uh, I'm sure he got, he got something. Sentence, whatever, but, uh, well, maybe uh, we should start giving the umps the little tasers. <laughs> now, soon they'll come out with that on the phone where you can taser somebody. Oh, Speaking of phone. Can't wait. Do you know now, according to USA Today, I, I used my phone more yesterday and text RTV and a bunch of people like that uh, uh, more than I ever have. Yeah, you text me. And uh, now you can get a ticket for distracted walking. <laughs> if you're reading this story on your smartphone while walking, you're looking in the wrong place. A number of communities are trying to get that message across to starve, stay, starve off pedestrian accidents that can happen. That's actually stave off. When people are walking home, become too engrossed with their phones. It's an $85 fine for careless walking. There's an, app There's an app that tells you. Camera. A camera. The camera while you're walking, you can say you can look at <laughs> What? There's an app you can get as you're texting. You can actually see what's in front of you so you don't fall and trip. See, they've thought of everything. Wait a minute. Come on. You mean to I tell just me. I put the magnifying glass You on can your be app walking. So you can read a magazine. I can be walking like this right here. <laughs> and looking where I'm going through at my phone. At the same time. All right. If you're quarter enough okay, to do Okay, so here's the camera. Things. So we're taking it up like that. Very good. My, uh, my issue here is who does the government think they are to tell you that you cannot walk and read at the same time? Well, first well, of all, who's accidents that? Well, uh, that's yeah. okay. If you're stupid enough to walk in front of the car <laughs> as you're reading your phone, you don't deserve to walk around anyway. Delaware okay. is taking a different approach, placing 100 stickers with the words, quote, look up on sidewalks near crossroads in uh, some cities in Delaware. It's called nanny state. We think the government's our daddy. In March, a 45-year-old woman had to be rescued from Lake Michigan after she fell off a pier while texting and walking. Natural selection. When people are talking on cell phones, taking even listening to music, unfortunately, they're not aware of what's going on around them. Remember the idiot that was walking in the mall and fell into the oh, fountain? fountain. That was Did her. you see the one last week? A lady in China or Japan, she's walking, they had like surveillance cameras on the side of the street, saw it, she's walking along and she walked past cones where they had just put fresh concrete out and she fell straight through the bottom of it. I and saw it was that. Like 20 feet down in a sewer hole, a guy tried to save her and he fell in and the fire department had to save both of them. <laughs> That's <pretty> Idiots! <laughs> now, I could see Corey, for example, <laughs> Leave doing Corey that. Alone. Do you have that app on your phone, Corey? No? Okay. He's going to get it, though. Corey's the only guy I know who can work running a camera, which is a real, you got to really know what you're doing. He'd be on the phone like this right now. I'm trying to, hey, what's wrong with getting that other shot? I'm what, <laughs> Hold on. Talking to somebody. Who are you talking to at 6 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Who's texting you? Probably somebody sitting up here on the set. Is he ever going to shut up? <laughs> That's not the dumbest ruse you ever heard of. <laughs> He's texting Brad. Can you believe he just said that? Yeah. That's insane. All right, I got a lot of things to talk about this morning. We'll come back and talk about some of these in just a moment. We'll take a break on that. Come back and do a little bit of ZNN in just a moment. Oh, let me do one other one while I'm on the subject of uh, All right. dumbasses. Here's another one. <laughs> Jamie. New York. Man shoots friend in leg at friend's request. How's it going, Frank? <laughs> Authorities say a... Northern New York man had his friend shoot him in the leg with a rifle because he wanted to know, quote, Seth, what it feels like to be shot. Well, now he's found out. <laughs> yeah. I hope that. It occurred about 5 p.m. this past Sunday where the 25-year-old of neighboring Norfolk relented to his friend's request and shot him, repeated request, I might add, <laughs> in the right leg with a 22 caliber rifle. <laughs> the 24-year-old is expected to make a full recovery. The other man who shot him is charged with reckless endangerment. It has not been determined if there was alcohol involved. Oh, uh, there, should there, be. <laughs> there should be. I hope. I hope. If you, you weren't were drunk when dumb. you had that <laughs> done, you need to be. Yeah, you need to be yeah. a mental institute. All right, I'll come back and do a little bit of news in just a moment. Some things happening. They don't talk about a, fan, a, a couple in Huntsville that was arrested because their kids didn't go to school. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Y'all hang on. Loving me. 